Welcome to the color and finish part of this series where we're going to be taking these projects from our Explore Leather Craft kit that we've tooled up together and now put on our final color and finish product onto these. And this is a one step product, so it's great for somebody starting out in leather work. There's so many options as you build into uh, the craft, but starting with a simple process is really a great way to go. Now, they have their, the book that comes with the kit uh, that kind of explains this finished process, but there's a few things not mentioned in there that I do want to address as we go. Uh, number one, I do suggest putting down a little cardboard. Uh, just something that's going to protect your work surface so that we don't get, uh, get a mess on there. We're going to move some of these projects to the side. We're just going to start right down here with our bookmark. Now, I'm going to give that product a good shake. Now we have our sponge here. We've wrung water out of that sponge so it's just lightly, lightly damp. I'm gonna open that up here and we're gonna get a little bit of that on our sponge. All right, now with that on there, I'm just gonna use little circles in here, putting that finish on. Now again, as you progress in your craft and want to invest in different products, there's other darker stains that you can use and add a lot more different color. This is going to get this nice clear finish on here and it's going to leave that natural finish that's going to antique up and get that patina over time. Now another trick that's not talked about in the book at all, but if you want this to darken up and you're not to the point of adding different stains and dyes and things like that but if you want to get a lot darker color to that you take this veg tan leather and set it in the sun get that exposure out there you're going to really get a lot darker color uh, in a very short amount of time so i'm going to set this one aside we're going to pull our other projects in here get more of this leather sheen this leather finish put on here and you can see it's it gets that that darker color right away from it getting wet right we noticed the same thing when we wet that project down when we were tooling them the only thing now is with this with this leather sheen with this finish it's going to hold a lot more of that color it'll lighten up a little bit as it dries but it's going to hold a lot more of that than it does with just the plain water there. Let's set that one off there. Bring back our wristband here. Now the other unique thing about leather is it's not a man-made product, right? So there are different parts of that hide, different hides in general. They're all going to take products a little bit differently and that's what really makes this craft unique is there's no two pieces of leather that are exactly the same. Um, so they're going to color up just a little bit different. That's what's the fun thing about showing you this. This is a, you know, just a clear sheen. We're going to get a little bit of that deepening in the color but all of this leather that looked to be the exact same color when we were tooling it up is all going to color a little bit different with this final finish process here. All right. Any kind of finish, whether it's this or if you moved on to other different colors and stains, uh, it's important to work in circles and that's going to avoid any streaking as, as things dry. Making sure we're getting that finish all the way down in all of those cuts and impressions from all of our tool marks there. Set that sponge aside here. I want to show you the difference in these. We talk about different leather taking 
finish and getting colored up differently. All of these projects have a little bit different color to them. So if you're getting different results in your projects, don't be surprised. Different leather is gonna take those a little bit differently. When you wanna get more exact and a little more uh, dialed in on your finishes, we move from this one step finish here that's putting a nice seal on that and get into some of your different dyes um, where you can get specific colors and put those on in different ways. As a bonus, I wanna take you one step further here. So once we've let that sheen dry, if you're wanting to take this past the Explore Leather Craft Kit and take it to that next level, I'm gonna show you this other product here. This is a gel antique. This is another very simple, easy product to use. And just in case you're ready to move to that next step here, I'm gonna see if I can get a paper towel and we're gonna put a little bit of this product on our project here. Now we're gonna work in circles here. Now again, this is over top of that one step finish that we had already put on here, but this is obviously gonna be adding more colors. This is antiquing it, and this is getting down into all our little details that we had tooled up. So there's so many products and so many options when it comes to finish, but this would be just that next little addition that's one step further than what you already have going on in the Explore kit. I'll fold that over wipe off any excess here. Like we mentioned before, we're working in circles to avoid any streaking. You see that just adds a little bit more life to our project. So I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me here in this series and letting me be a part of your leather craft journey. If you're ready to take that to the next level and continue with your leather work please feel free to check out the links in the descriptions on any of these videos check out our website for other products and uh, things for those next steps and be sure to watch all the other free content that we have right here on youtube to help you progress in your journey take care